Hi, good afternoon, Misty. This is Dylan Spooner with Aldermans Toyota in Rutland, where your satisfaction is our top priority. Today, we're going to be doing a walk around video on the 2024 Tacoma SR5. To jump right into this vehicle, for 2024, the Tacoma has been redesigned in every way. So exterior, interior, as well as the powertrain for the vehicle. To start off in the exterior, it's finished in black, but Toyota's black is kind of more of a metallic black. It's not flat. Um, still adds some good appearance to the vehicle. Right in the front end, you're gonna notice the upgraded LED headlights, finally. Um, and then you'll also see that there's LED fog lights. This new grille is um, obviously one, brand new, and two, it really adds more of an aggressive appearance to the Tacoma, and I like kind of the separation that they have in the grill. Just kind of adds, adds to, the, um, to the look to the vehicle, in my opinion. And right up there, that trapezoids for the, um, that up there is the sensor in there, um, and you'll be able to see that as um, outside the vehicle, and it controls pre-collision system, radar cruise control, and a few other safety features. Wrapping right around, I like that um, these uh, panels, these fenders come out a little bit, adds kind of a wide body stance to the vehicle, and you'll notice that there's some functional venting right there, which is awesome. It comes with a 17 inch alloy wheel, and these are all season tires. Um, these look awesome, and Firestone's on these. is a really quiet ride, and there's plenty of grip for what you need to do. To wrap right around, we'll get a, have a back three quarter view of the vehicle. This is the double cab five foot bed. To start off on the back, open this up. This is, this is the silver interior. There's a couple other ones available depending on what you're looking for. Um, it's nice to have the full four doors for that back seat. There's some storage underneath on both sides. And both of these will fold down, um, will fold up like that. And then on the back, you can also take this, fold this down flat. But right behind this, it does have the upgraded sound system, so it does have JBL audio. Hop right in the back. Taking a look at what the driver would see, um, this is the infotainment screen, which is the eight inch screen. And then up there, there's your, um, up there's your heated seats, heated steering wheel. And then over there, you'll see there's a wireless charger. So there's a bunch of stuff to keep you connected. But as of the back seat, they did a good job about um, they did a good job about carving the back of these seats, so there's plenty of leg room. It is keyless entry, so if you press this uh, the indentation right there, it unlocks the car. When you grab the handle, it will unlock the car. Jump right in to start the vehicle. It's foot on the brake. Push button starts right there. you see the startup animation on both screens. So now, getting behind the driver's seat, in the middle, for one, is kind of the mid-information display, but it's where you can go ahead and change all the safety features. Lane departure alert, blind spot monitoring, pre-collision system, proactive driving assistance, parking assist, a few others, but just so you can see, in here you can turn the sensitivity up or down, as well as you can turn um, everything on or off. Over by my left knee, Here's the leveling for the headlights. So if you have a heavy payload, you can point those headlights back down. Um, then you'll see the instrument cluster dimmers right there. And then your automatic high beams and traction control. Over here, like I said in the back seat, it's wireless Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Uh, so you can wirelessly pull your maps over the screen, which is awesome. And then again, get closer to the climate control. Everything's easy to use. The knob, I like that it still has knobs. Turn everything up. Um, it's, 90 degrees outside, so the AC is definitely necessary for today. Um, and then there's your heated seats, heated steering wheel. I like that, keeps it at an angle um, instead of it being just face down. Then down here is the four wheel drive system. Right now it's rear wheel drive, four high, but you can still do that in motion, four low. You still gotta put the truck in neutral. And then you notice these uh, all the way around, around the vehicle. It does have JBL premium audio. And then up here on the ceiling, let's see what it does with that rear window. So that'll open and close just right through there, which is awesome. Turn the vehicle off. There's our button right there. Push that.
go into the the tail of the vehicle you'll see kind of like these smoked LED ta um, tail lights right there extremely bright at night um, kind of reminds me of the Tundra but there's there's only two lines instead of three but it kind of reminds me of the new Tundra design this is a uh, let's just go ahead and unlock the vehicle that'll come down it's an easy down tailgate the Tacoma still carried over that composite bed from the previous generation, so no need to get a spray and bed liner. Um, extremely light tailgate. You can pick it up just with a few fingers. And then you'll notice this deck rail system. So it does come with a deck rail system, as well as a few more cleats on the back and on the side. So just more opportunity for tie downs. And then here's our towing receiver back here with the, out, with the inputs right there. And this comes with a 2.4 turbocharged engine. It's rated for 278 horsepower and 317 foot-pounds of torque. Um, and you're going to pretty much be able to tow everything just around 65, 6,600 pounds. So it's going to be able to do all of that work that you're looking to do. But again, Misty, thank you very much for inquiring about the 2024 Toyota Tacoma SR5. If you'd like to learn more, I'll make sure to include a link in the description. Or you can come see it yourself at Alderman's Toyota in Rutland. Thank you.